Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop 2x2 two two spread men 24. I think 2x2 two two spread is one of the hardest formations to actually get a beat on and actually stop consistently because of the fact of how good set beat lead is at throwing different types of streak routes and really how far back your uh, your user defender is. So uh, we're going to show you this out of the dollar three two formation in the multiple defense playbook. This is going to be out of the cover to press. And uh, for the package that we're going to be recommending for this, we are going to be utilizing the free safety sub. You don't have to use that, um, but I do like to utilize free safety sub package, which would mean that you're going to need to sub out and sub back in players. Auto flip defense play call is going to be off. And then really the most important thing when defending spread, I think, is to make sure your option defense is on conservative. The reason why is because a lot of people that run any kind of two by two spread, they like to run inside zone and read option. We have to be able to stop that. And then also uh, put your zone coverage on match. And we're going to show you some cool stuff in this video about how you can actually match um, spread sets with outside third defenders. So in my opinion, one of the most easy and effective ways to defend spread is to utilize outside thirds on your outside uh, receive outside corners. And the reason why we like to utilize outside thirds is we're just going to show two vertical routes uh, here and just kind of forget about these guys. They're not really uh, important. Hopefully I got everybody off on, off on spies and stuff, but I just mainly want you to look at, look at the... Uh, of course, um, I just want you to watch the, the outside third. So there's no middle third defender. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to see Let me see if I can find a post route. Um, here we go. So we got a deep post route here on the left-hand side. Uh, we'll run both of these receivers on. We'll do a corner route, something like this. Okay. So I want you to watch uh, what these outside thirds are going to do. And you're going to see that if I try to throw this post against an outside third, he's actually going to match it and he'll take it away. The reason this is important is because the middle third safety defender in a spread when you're defending a two by two spread set is a defender in which you can actually have a lot of versatility. It's a defender that you can use to do other things with. And the reason why is because we can really trust these outside third defenders. If you look here on the right-hand side, that outside third defender is also going to do a really good job on uh, any kind of deep streak route. And then we'll talk about one other quick key adjustment that I do think is important to, to talk about. So one of the other key adjustments that I do think is really Really important for us to think through is how do we defend this route combination to the left hand side of your screen this route combination to the left hand side of your screen is one of the best route combinations in spread and the reason why is because you have the seam streak which is already hard to defend in of itself and then that seam streak oftentimes will clear out thirds so you can throw the c route underneath let me give you an example of what i'm talking about so let me put those uh, third defenders back on the field and then we'll throw um, a purple defender, curl flat style defender over here on the left. And what you'll see is first and foremost, I could throw that seam streak right there. And then if I didn't get pressured, I would be able to throw that C route to the left-hand side. Super, super, super powerful route combination and very difficult to defend, especially if your opponent is maybe doing something like this. Because now, um, as you can see right here, we've got a little running back Texas underneath route coming underneath. We got two seam streaks. We got a little backside check down. Very nice little route combination, but we're going to show you how to slow this down. One of the easiest ways to stop, let's talk first and foremost about the C route street combo. One of the easiest ways to stop the C route and the street combo uh, is to utilize this adjustment sequence right here, the seam flat. The seam flat is the most important adjustment to utilize when defending two by two spread sets. Because if that number two receiver runs a vertical route, the seam flat will match him. If the number two receiver runs a underneath route, then the seam flat will play basically like a curl flat defender. So what you're going to see is he's going to actually match that, re that receiver, which allows that outside third to be able to match that outside C route. This is a super, super high level and very important adjustment. So what we're going to do on the left-hand side is we're going to utilize those two adjustments. Now this basically, if you think about it, it takes away everything they can do on the left-hand side of the field. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to cross man the tight end, which I think is one of the most underrated adjustments uh, against a formation like this. So let me show you what's going to happen. We're literally leaving the middle of the field on an island. And let's say, for example, that they run four verticals. So if they run four verticals, we'll look, take a look at the left-hand side of your screen. You're going to notice a seam flat is going to match that streak, and he's going to take that away. So they can't throw in the seam against a seam flat defender. Then the other thing that we can do with this 
is again, like I said, I want to cross man um, if, if possible. So we could do a couple different things uh, in terms of this cross manning. One of the things we could do if we wanted to, we could throw a little mid read in the middle of the field to kind of um, muddy up the middle of the field reads. If we wanted to, we could put a little middle third um, and then and then basically go with an adjustment sequence like this on your screen. This is perfectly fine. However, I really like the cloud flat against the spread, especially with the tight end. Because when you're defending the tight end, one of the other meta route combos that people like to, to do is they like to throw this tight end corner. So because they like to throw this tight end corner, if I don't have a cloud over there and he's able to beat man, that's actually a pretty open throw. So what we're gonna do to kind of get around that is we're going to utilize a cross man on the tight end that's going to create a bracket for that defender. And then we're just going to leave the cover two on the right hand side of the screen. The reason for the uh, leaving the cover two on the right hand side of the screen, well, we got a vertical hook that's going to do a good job. If the running back does run any kind of like Texas route or wheel route or anything like that, we have a deep half defender, uh, which with honestly with the deep half defender, you could uh, put him on a outside third. Uh, but the beauty of this is now we're going to be able to really create some nice brackets on both sidelines. This is also going to allow us to now be able to stay in the middle of the field uh, with our users. So even if they run like a little running back wheel out of the backfield, we're able to, to lurk a little bit more middle. So you'll see right here, this kind of a route combination, super, super good. But as you can see, pretty much everything's taken away. All we gotta do is use her in the middle of the field. And we're able to take away what the formation does best. Whenever you're playing defense in Madden, I think it's very important that you take away what does the formation do best? Well, what does this formation do really, really well? Well, this Y sale play is actually pretty good. So what we need to be able to do is we're going to have that cloud flat reroute the clear out route, which gives that cross man time to get over and make a play on that tight end. All the while, we have a lot of pressure that is going to force them to, you know, have to get the ball out of their hand. Another sneaky and I think very underrated adjustment would actually be to take this defender here in the middle of the field and actually put him on a outside third to the right. Uh, so you see something like this and then utilize this cross man. The reason this is actually a super, super high level adjustment is because that outside third defender will take away any kind of like slot uh, post routes. Not saying the deep half can't. Uh, the deep half certainly can. The the outside third certainly can. And, and this basic adjustment is what I absolutely love. Now, if you want to get a little bit more simple by utilizing a mid read, what the mid read is going to do, it's going to do a really good job against any kind of tight end post route. It's going to do a really good job against any kind of post route in general on the field. And the beauty of this adjustment is we could actually get into, this is going to allow us, you know, maybe to get into something a little bit more, you know, basic. But again, the beauty of this absolutely is you could man up the tight end with the vertical hook if you wanted to do that. Um, this just gives you a lot of options. But in general, with the slot receiver, to defend a slot receiver and outside receiver in Madden 23, I really, really, really recommend utilizing uh, the adjustments that we just showed you because these adjustments right here will really do a good job of locking down those two receivers. And then obviously you can have a mid read. And as you can see there, as long as you have deep out zone KO on that player, that's going to be pretty good defense. The only thing we needed to do right there is pass commit because they ran play action. That is something you want to uh, kind of be on top of or just simply back this guy off. If you just, th these backed off thirds, they are so good um, against any kind of spread set. And then the beauty of this is you could, if you wanted to, cross man both slots. I mean, there's just so much you could do with this, guys. Um, I really think this is one of the better ways uh, to be playing defense right now in this game because, because you're, you're able to really – uh, lean on these outside thirds to be able to go guard the post routes, which against a lot of formations in this game, you're really not able to do that. And the main route combinations are going to be centered around the slot receiver and the tight end. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to get the rest of this dollar defensive ebook, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.